Hi, my name is Helen from Woolly Chic and I've been teaching crochet for a number of years now. And the thing that gets often said to me is that people wish I could come home with them and repeat everything I'd said to them in the lesson while they were practicing. Well, obviously that's not possible, but I thought that the next best thing would be if I recorded a series of videos teaching the crochet basics and that this would be a useful resource for my students and anyone else who would like to learn to crochet. So let's get started. To start crocheting, you need to make an initial loop. The first loop you make on the hook is called a slip knot. So the simplest way to make a circle with the yarn and pull up a loop through the circle, holding on to the tail and the working yarn and pull up that loop. It's called a slip knot because it can slip and grow in size bigger and smaller. And then it's this loop that you pop onto your hook. Now people hold their hooks in all different ways and there really isn't a right or wrong way. I hold my hook like a pencil or like a dart and then I hold my yarn wrapping it round my little finger between my middle finger and my pointy finger and then I grip onto the bottom of the stitch that I'm working on with my thumb and my first finger. So that lays the yarn over my first finger and between my middle finger and my pointy finger and I can kind of gripping it and then I can put my hook under the yarn holding onto that slip knot catching the yarn and pulling it through the loop making a new loop and that's called a chain stitch I'll show you that again so my hook is going under the yarn front to back catching the yarn and sliding it through the loop on the hook and then I'm moving my thumb and my first finger up to the bottom of that stitch I've made so that then I can make another stitch by going under, catching the yarn and pulling it through the loop on my hook. Show you that again. Under, catch the yarn, sliding it through the loop. Under, catch the yarn, sliding it through. Let me show that show that to you again okay so I've passed my yarn round my little finger between my middle finger and my pointy finger and I'm gripping the bottom of the stitch that I'm working on between my thumb and my first finger so that the yarn is lying over the top of my first finger of my pointy finger and then my hook goes under the yarn from the front to the back, hooks the yarn and slides it through the loop that's on the uh, on the hook. And there I am left with one loop on my hook. So this is how you make a chain stitch. You pass the hook under the yarn front to back, catch the yarn and pull it through the loop that's on your hook. Again, under the yarn, catch the yarn, pull it through the loop that's on your hook. Round and through. Round and through. And then I'm moving my thumb and my finger to grip the bottom of the, of the last chain stitch that I've made so that I can continue making some more chains. Now most crochet patterns start with a foundation chain made up of a series of chain stitches. A crochet chain stitch is abbreviated in patterns as CH. Now I'm using a 4mm crochet hook with double knit yarn. 
and this is woolly chic uh, double knit aquamarine and I would say you need to make your foundation chain stitches quite loose because when you come to the next part of your pattern you may be asked to go into those stitches and in which case you need to be able to have space to put your hook so here I am doing a double crochet stitch and I have to put my hook into the top part of that chain stitch. So if you make your chain stitches too tight that would be really tricky to be able to put your hook in and pull the yarn through. So if you find that your chain stitches are really tight as they are when you often learn to uh, crochet you perhaps could go up a hook size so from a four millimeter to a 4.5 millimeter or a five millimeter uh, crochet hook um, to make sure that your chain stitches on your foundation chain are nice and loose and have got space to put your hook in then you can always for your next row you can always go back down to the crochet hook that the pattern suggests.